fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 26th of July 2023. I hope you are keeping at your finest. Um, in the news I see uh, Sotheby's is trying to sell or about to sell a pair of Apple sports shoes, trainers or sneakers, whatever you want to call them, for around $50,000. I wonder if Apple could get away with selling actually new pairs of Apple trainers for fifty thousand dollars. It seems like they might want to. They, they, <laughs> I have a a love hate relationship with Apple. <laughs> I have had for many years, but having just spent a fortune on an Apple product, well, I suppose um, other av other options were available. But <laughs> I'll, I'll talk more about it later. Um, but. Uh, Apple's pricing on a more than a trillion dollar company. Um, uh, it's out outrageous, but anyway. Uh, so good luck to the person who buys them. I presume you will never wear them. You spend $50,000 on a pair of trainers to look at. Why? Is it an art form? Is it beautifully crafted and created by an artist? No, it was just made by somebody in a factory, but with an, a with an Apple sticker on it. And because there aren't many of them, well, it's incredibly rare. And I'm not even sure if it's a real thing or if it could be a fake. That would be funny, wouldn't it, if it turns out to be a fake uh, and somebody spends $50,000 on something that's not even a real product. Let's hope so. Right. <laughs> Schadenfreude. Uh, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. This is another medium game in The Guardian. Uh, about other games, uh, it depends on my available time. Uh, today as to what I'll be playing, but I'll try and get in some more games today if I can. So let's start with the eights, shall we? Surrounding the middle block here in as shown. I'm just going to put an eight into that square there. Ooh, mouse is moving slowly this morning, or rather the mouse pad is rather sticky. Don't know why. Uh, eight is going to be on here. Nothing to do with me. Um, we have eight blocking down here and across here, which is going to put an eight into that square. We have, uh, okay, let's do it like this. Eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square, and eight blocking this square. So in this row, that's the only square not affected by other eights. We have one down here and one up there. Oops, wrong key again. And one across here. So we'll say you're a one and then we'll put ones across there. And again, we'll say, oh, you are a one. Um, one blocking up here and with one across here means one is in either this square or this square blocking down here. Let's continue that one down and one across here and across here means, hey, we're sure you're one. Our two here blocks these three squares and this two blocks this square. So in that row, that's a two. Uh, I spot the threes blocking across the bottom two rows with a couple of threes going down. So that's going to be a three there. Six across here and six down here means this must be a six. And six back this way and across here means that has to be a six. And six up this way and six across here means that's a six. And keep on with the sixes because there's a little bit more. We've got them blocking like so, which means we can find a six here. Uh, what's missing from this row? We're looking for three, five, and seven, I think. So we got five and seven here. So this is going to have to be a three then. So now we can say three blocking up here, up here, and across these rows is going to give us a three there. Where else do we need threes? Oh, yeah, I see. Like this. 
there. And that's the end of the threes. Uh, we don't have a four in this row yet, but we have a four blocking here and another one blocking here, so that's going to be our four. Seven blocking across like so, and up there gives us a seven here. Seven down here, seven up there means we can find seven here. There's only one number to go here. Let's fill it in with a uh, missing five. Um, shall we click on the digits and see uh, what we can do? Okay, so we've got one blocking up here and up here and across like so means we can place a one there. Then we've got one across here, uh, across here and up there. So one is now finished. We haven't finished twos yet. Can we do any more on the twos? Um... Well, yeah, we've got two blocking this square here, and we need a two in this column, so we can say that has to be a two. And then we should change tack and then fill in the missing digit here, which looks to be a four. Uh, and then we'll just have another look at those twos in case I missed anything else. Mm, not sure. So how about the fours? We haven't finished five yet, and five is uh, still quite. There's still quite a bit to do on five, six, as I can see where they're going. They're not going to do anything yet. Uh, what I should do is I should see what goes here, and then work out these digits here, shouldn't I? And see what goes further up the column. So what is missing from here? We're looking for five, six, and nine. Uh, we have a 5 here, a 6 here, we don't know anything about the 9, so this is 5, 6 and 9, so this has to be 2 and 7. So, how does that help? 7s are here, 2s are up there. No, they can't be. Okay, so we've got 2 blocking across here, so 2 is in one of these 2 squares, so this can't be 2. And Now 2 is one of these 2 squares down here blocking up there, so that has to be a 2, doesn't it? We've uh, got, what's up there, five, nine. Um, okay. I haven't looked at eights for a while. Let's check out eights. So we've got eights going across like this. And we can fit an eight there. And then we can eight, bring the eight down and down here and across these rows, which will give us an eight there. And that's the last eight. Um, Let's go back and see if anything's changed.
Okay, now we can get the six. There's our six. Six across here, across here, and down there. Means that that has to be a six. I haven't looked at the nines yet. Let's have a look and see. Um, okay, so we have seven blocking down here and seven blocking across here. I mean, seven is either this square or this square, which means that this can't be seven. But if you remember, we needed two and seven in these squares here. This can't be seven. This must be our seven and this must be two. The reason we needed seven and two is because we know that this is five and nine to complete this column. In case that had slipped your mind. Fives and nines everywhere we need. Ah, this is what we need to do. We need to complete this block here with uh, something, a four. Okay, so four blocking down here and four across here means <coughs> that's a four. two blocks this square here we don't yet have a two in this row so that's where the two goes and that's gonna that's gonna finish the game that two actually <coughs> two goes there this is gonna be a nine nine blocks across here this will be nine and we need a nine at the end of this row here nine blocking up here and up here means that this is our nine and then nine blocking back in this direction gives us a nine there and here we are still in need of a five. And down here we still need a five. And in this row we must insert a two. That's the final digit, two. <coughs> Missing along the bottom here is four, five, and seven. Hmm, we have four and we have seven. We don't have any fives up there yet. Okay, we have nine blocking here. I thought I'd finished the nines, but no, not true. Nine there. And now nine across here. That means that's our final digit, nine. And now this will be a five. And the five blocks down here, which gives us a five there, and five blocks across there, which gives us a five. Like so. The missing number here is a seven. We still need a seven there. And now we have a couple of sevens pointing to the bottom. And so that means you are a seven, four blocks down here. There's our four, four blocks all the way to the top, giving us a four there. And now a five is going to finish the game. That's our Guardian medium level relaxing game for a Wednesday. Although I do have things to do today. See you another time. Bye bye.